know the news. You're listening to the bar. Michael's nausea, vomiting, and headaches. Hello, Britain. This is the bug. The show that holds up the mirror to the world. That smashes itself in the head with it. It is there. I'm Andy. Joining me, as always. Caught here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, I'm listening. Yeah. Yeah. What? What? I'm not looking for trouble. Oh, sorry. I'm not looking for any trouble. Too late now, fucker. Kelly territory. So all you're gonna find here is trouble, motherfucker. So get the fuck out. <laughs> this is a highly placed Albion informant, or as they're called in America, a narc. And if there's one thing I know about the people of London, it's that they always like to see a rat get his comeuppance. Good on you. Yeah, thanks. Another escape. I just start keeping score. Used to be in the old days, and there well, were food shortages. Yeah, that's, we just learned to live with them, don't we? And there's a lot of positives as well with all these food shortages. I mean, we were eating too much anyway. As a nation, the government's just helping us live healthier lifestyles. It's so hard to diet on your own, isn't it? You need the support of a friend or a loved one or a government or collapsing social infrastructure. Positive too, meat, very bad for the environment. So we're actually rebuilding the polar ice caps every time we eat a scrap of lettuce. Uh, three, positive three. The human race had already cooked all the rest. There's nothing more to be done with food. We've done that. You know, we, we can take it off. We've done it. Uh, I was bored of food anyway. I've been eating all my life. If you've been doing the same thing three times a day, four, sometimes seven, or even eight times a day, you're about to get bored. Oi, watch where the and, fuck you're uh, going! Also, final positive, no more meal times. It frees up all that extra time for appreciating all the selfless hard work that Albion do to keep us all safe. Well, as you say, Annie, people are drawn to novelty, and everyone's had breakfast once. <laughs> Why are you going to keep having it again and again? Boring, repetitive.
bags. What the fuck is this? A data stick. Must have come from that wreckage. It has evidence that Albion are targeting grassroots groups in the borough, trying to keep them from organizing. I'll hang on to this. Could come in handy. Deadseg is dead and buried. I guess we have to assume that uh, Deadseg has never been stronger. But I do worry, Alice. I mean, sometimes I think, is there any hope? Do you still have hope? I don't think I'm allowed to have hope. We're living in the self selected, algorithmically designated information equivalent of a propaganda state. And uh, every resistance that I've ever seen is weaker than the British pound. I feel like hope is an expensive thing to buy these days. I mean, is it all. Is it all totally pointless? Or, I mean, it can feel pointless, but then again, I've spent almost all of my life doing pointless things like watching sport, <laughs> thinking about sport, thinking about watching sport. What's that? Learning something, how to pick up a few things. Ready to go? Always. Hey, big guy! Intervention. Wonderful. You know what they say about sabotage. It's never not a good thing. This is sure to cause Albion some headaches. We've done what we can to stop Albion's influence in Hackney and Islington, at least on our own. What do we do then? Well, I've heard from a grassroots activist in the borough who wants to meet, says we inspired her to do her part, but now she could use some help. Let's talk to her. Oh. 